everyone! If it is your first time to my channel, welcome! My name is Holly and this is my channel, Holly and Huckleberry. The reason I feel like some newcomers might be interested in watching this is because this is my first brand deal video. And no, this is not a sponsorship by any means. If anything, it's just like the most genuine review video I have ever done because I am actually having smaller sellers, mostly on Amazon, asking me to review their product. So I'm not buying anything from them, but I'm also not getting any money from them either. They just sent me their product and I figured, heck, I would love to eventually have brand deals. I would love to eventually work with companies that I, you know, really believe in and want to represent, but you got to start somewhere. So for like smaller YouTubers, newer YouTubers, if you're just curious, what kind of stuff I'm getting sent? Well, you're about to find out because I'm lumping it all into one video. Also, if you guys are interested in the unboxing of these products, they are already in a video for you guys. So you can go check out that video if you're interested. Otherwise, let us dive right into a more in-depth, comprehensive review of these products. numero uno is actually right here on my wall and I have been patiently awaiting to do this. This is actually the product review that I am most excited to do and that is the scratch off map from Nuverist. And yes, everything will be linked below. So if you're interested, you're welcome to check them out. But they offer world maps as well as US maps. And since most of my traveling has been right in my own country of America, I thought, it would be way more interesting to start with the US map. I'll just show you guys. This is the packaging it came in. Super cute, super cute. And you get this little bag that comes with a handy dandy scratcher and these adorable push pins, but they're so cute. I don't know what these are. They're like squishy round things. Maybe help hang it on your wall or something. I'm not really sure to be honest. I've been eyeing this thing for a long time. I think it's time we start scratching. All right, guys, I recently traveled all over the country in my van. Well, technically a Mazda 5, so basically a car. And I think what I'm gonna do is scratch off the map in order of all the states I went to on my road trip. My point is, if you are like, ooh, that's kind of cool, I wanna watch the vlogs from that state, well, go check them out. There's a playlist of my entire road trip, so, okay. Let's, uh, let's get scratching. Start off with my hometown. This is gonna take me forever. I'm already seeing an issue here, and this is not the product's fault, I don't think, but my walls are not even, because I live in this, like, crazy hut. I'm gonna try and put it on the floor. I think it's helping. <laughs> Remember when you were in school and you had to write with a pencil <laughs> and your hand would start hurting from writing too much? Yeah, that's what I'm like getting PTSD from right now. Damn you, Texas! I'm almost there. I'm almost there. This is gonna be the death of me, but I'm almost there. We're going to Jackson. Oh wait, that's in Tennessee. <laughs> Just kidding. How about... It's a small world after all. It's a small... This is the sad part where I have to Google the shape of Maryland, because I'm not positive which part is what because you know there's that all that coastline okay yeah see that's complicated okay oh my gosh <laughs> i almost forgot where i live i've been to hawaii and maui Yay! I finished! <laughs> that took longer than I was expecting. 
but we're not even finished yet. At the very bottom, we have a bucket list of well-known American attractions, and uh, we're gonna fill it out right now, see how far I've come. And there you have it, friends. My beautiful map. I know I complained a little bit. Even still, it was really fun. Super cool. I'm a huge fan. No, I would not purchase a larger size only because of just how time consuming that is. But all in all, I give it a thumbs up. The bucket list at the bottom is especially fun for me. You can purchase a map just like this one for about 25 bucks. So as long as you have a nice flat surface to work on, this is a very good product. <laughs> yeah, that took a lot longer than I was expecting, but it works out because of the next product that I was sent. The next product we're gonna be reviewing is this adorable LED camping lantern. At first I was pretty disappointed in seeing that it requires batteries. I hate buying batteries because they're expensive and I prefer rechargeable products. However, in the instance of camping, batteries are extremely useful. Not everyone can afford solar powered items or can afford to keep their items recharged. So having a lantern that works on batteries, not the worst thing in the world, right? So it takes three double A's, a hook on the back side, and you just lift on up and it turns on. And it is incredibly bright, holy moly. You can do cool effects, you can tell scary stories. Personally, I live in a little hut on the big island of Hawaii. I use the main house for a bathroom and a kitchen a lot of the time. So going between my hut and the house with this puppy is actually going to be very handy, apart from just going on camping trips in the future or if we lose power for whatever reason. Pretty awesome stuff. The thing that really makes this especially awesome is the price. You can buy this little baby for $10, and I think it's well worth it. Good stuff. So, on that note, I'm gonna say goodnight, and I will see you all tomorrow for our next product review. Sleep tight. Good morning, everybody. I'm coming at you guys from my brand new GoPro. Literally the first time I'm using this, so I don't know how the audio is uh, in this casing that I have it in right now, but um, this is a good tester for that, so yay, GoPro, woo! But that is not why we're here. Obviously, we have another product to review that is not the GoPro. Let me just... Full face snorkel mask. And I want to fully disclose this. This is something that I just want to be really clear about right off the bat with product reviews if I am going to be providing my 100% honest opinion. And let me just say, there has been a lot of scrutiny against these masks. Even a lot of the tour companies in the area are not allowing anyone to wear full face masks. And that is because there is a possibility that they are being linked to multiple drownings in Maui, I believe. Um, so th yeah, the state of Hawaii especially is being really cautious with this product. Basically, you're breathing into this with your nose and your mouth. It may possibly be building up CO2, which will eventually make you pass out. So really, it's just a matter of wearing them long term. That might be the biggest issue. But on the flip side, I also associate these sorts of products with inexperienced snorkelers. So there is the possibility that there's nothing wrong with these masks and it just happens to be the people wearing the masks. So that's a thought I have had too. Again, it's still under investigation. They're not outlawed or anything, but it was something really important that I wanted to share with you guys. Ooh, I have to, I'm moving towards a boat. I have to move really quick, hold on. Okay, where was I? In my unboxing video, I did mention my concerns with this product and the company was really nice and emailed me about my concerns and basically recommended that no one wear the mask for more than 30 minutes, which I do think that would be a very easy solution to this potential hazard. I would say even shorter than that because 
wearing a mask for 15 minutes is plenty of time. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna stay in the water too long. It's a little choppy out here anyway, so I'm probably not gonna see a whole lot. Now that I got that kind of, I don't know, icky stuff out of the way, let's talk about the actual product. So it comes with earplugs, which I've never heard of people wearing earplugs when diving. Granted, I'm not an expert on snorkeling and diving and stuff. I'm pretty new to it myself, but it comes with earplugs, so I'm gonna try those out. And the cool thing that really impressed me was the attachable GoPro mount or action camera mount. Unfortunately, <laughs> it literally just broke. Not, not on the water, but I, I took it out of my backpack. It just, a piece of it just snapped off. It didn't hit anything, so it was obviously really delicate. So unfortunately, I cannot mount my GoPro to the mask, and I don't know if I would recommend mounting a GoPro to the mask, considering it broke off without me even dropping it. But I'm still excited to try out a full face mask, see what it's like down there, because it does give you that full view kind of look, I imagine, which I'm kind of excited for. So now I'm gonna just put it on and uh, give it a shot. impressive thing about this mask is that it does not fog up and that was a big part of their marketing and I have to say for the time that I was down there no it did not really fog up at all feels weird not having any of your face wet <laughs> and the earplugs I guess were pretty cool I could see that being really good for people who are prone to swimmer's ear or ear infections and that sort of thing. This mask does not allow you to do any sort of diving. So obviously this is a mask for very amateur and casual snorkelers who might be claustrophobic in a regular mask. However, apart from just my general bias against these masks and the judgment that comes with wearing a mask of this type, especially in the state of Hawaii, it makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> It is important to be educated about the products you are using and if you are going to try something as important as allowing you to breathe and see and be alive, I think it is worth doing your research before purchasing a product like this one. Having said that, it's true, it does not fog up. So this mask is great if you are going to be doing some very short-term casual snorkeling. But yeah, the GoPro mount broke, which, you know, that's kind of concerning to me. So maybe if they replaced that, I don't know. I'd recommend it to a very specific style of snorkeling. Otherwise, no thanks. I would much rather just do one of these. All right, that wraps up this product's review. And we have one more to go. So I'm gonna swim around a little bit, enjoy myself, and I'll see you back home for a shower. The final product of our review is this lovely little set of three microfiber travel towels. Three towels conveniently fit into a really nice mesh carrying case. The other feature about these towels that I really enjoy is this little, uh, I don't know, clip detailing, clip on, loop hanging thing. Yep, that's what you call them. <laughs> this fabric dries super duper fast, and that's very important out here in Hawaii where mold grows super easily. And yeah, I'm super excited about these towels. I gotta say, the large size towel that I'm wearing right now is honestly almost too big. And by too big, I mean it's awesome, you know? I have been using some very small travel towels for the last year that I've been traveling and I'm really excited to have 
a towel that actually covers everything. <laughs> so pretty excited about that. The medium size could honestly be a little bit bigger. It didn't cover all of my hair. So if you have long hair, it's probably not going to wrap around completely. However, it does stay as I have it tucked in the back. So it's doing its job all the same. Pretty great. You can purchase these towels for a grand total of $18. I think it is absolutely worth it. Well guys, as much as I would love to hang out with you all, I should probably get some clothes on. <laughs> and you guys, please be nice in the comments below. This is all in good fun. Don't be a dick. <laughs> so what did you guys think of these products? If you're new to YouTubing and you are expecting to eventually have brand deals, this is the sort of thing that you have to go through at the beginning. And frankly, this was a ton of fun for me. I loved reviewing these products. A lot of these are going to be extremely useful to me. And for the ones that don't end up being useful to me, I will give away to someone who will appreciate it. So it's really great all around. Thank you to all of the sellers on Amazon who sent me their stuff. If you guys want to work together again in the future, just reach out. Otherwise, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity and thank you for the stuff. I like it. <laughs> if you found this entertaining or educational or inspiring in any way, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure and check out any of the products that you guys want to purchase. They are all linked down below. Okay, I love you guys so much. I hope you're all doing very well. Peace.